It was almost time for me to count the Cleveland Browns all the way out. I was almost done. I was about to write it off, scratch the name off on a list of teams who could possibly make something happen. And then here we go. We see the great Jameis Winston show up big for the Cleveland, Ca- Cle- Cleveland Cavaliers. Now, Cleveland Browns, the city of Cleveland, he really showed up and made something happen for them. And he gave the fans something to hope for. Now, if you don't know, the Cleveland Browns, they beat the Baltimore Ravens. They won 29 to 24, and now they're 2 and 6. This is a 1 and 5 team. This is a, a 1 and 6 team, correction. This is a 1 and 6 team, but they snapped a five game winning streak because of Jameis Winston, and now they're sitting at 2 and 6. Hey, I doubt anything can happen in that division, <laughs> but this, it's just the fact they're giving Cleveland Browns fans something to hope for, man. Jameis Winston has given them something to hope for in going in the following weeks. You get something to be somewhat excited about. And, you know, at least you can watch some decent football. Some decent football. I won't even say good football or great football. You get to watch some decent football. Jameis Winston didn't play a, a spectacular game. He got the win, which is spectacular. But he didn't play a spectacular game. He was 27 for 41. Six, completed 65% of his passes. Three touchdowns, zero interceptions. It was a great game. I won't say it's spectacular. But what's spectacular is the fact that Jameis Winston in the dog pound scored 23 points in one half, which is more than they scored in a single game the entire season so far. The highest points the Cleveland Browns have scored this entire season was 17 points. It's ridiculous that now in a single half with a quarterback change of Jameis Winston, you give him one half to figure it out and you give him the second half to actually go ahead and close it and win a game. And that's what he did. He scored 23 points, which is the most the Cleveland Browns have scored in a single game all season. But he did it in a single half. I mean, damn, dude. I'm not no Browns fan, but I'm happy for him that they finally seen the bright side of NFL season. (laughs) You know, because it sucks when your team is losing. When your team is bad like this and, and they're not winning games time after time, it sucks the NFL season. It's awful. You sat every week. You sat every Monday. You sat every Sunday. You sat every Thursday. It's not anything fun. So I get it. It's bad for the Cleveland Browns fans, but this is something that's going to help them out. It gives them something to genuinely look forward to come next Sunday and any Sunday after that, as long as they got Jameis Winston in the game. And watching this game, too, it even seemed like the offense helped shift the momentum to the defense. So typically the defense is out there. They're fighting for their life. They're playing hard. They're getting stops, all of this stuff. And, you know, the offense go out there and lay another egg. They don't get anything. They get a field goal at best. But now with the offense actually being able to score, it gives the defense a little more intensity that, hey, we can put points up. Let's go get a stop. It is needed. So now the game is a little bit different. They have more momentum. It means they're working a lot harder when they're on the field because they know if they get a stop, the offense will actually go put points on the board rather than going out there and laying an egg. So it's a beautiful thing when your offense can create that momentum for your defense, but even then, you got to give the Browns' defense some credit too because they sacked Lamar Jackson three times. Sacking Lamar Jackson is not an easy task, bro. This is the fastest quarterback in the league. The most mobile, the most agile quarterback in the league. And you you sat them three times? That's huge. I believe it was nine pressures they got to him. They had the highest rating of pressures this week in week eight. Like, come on, man. It, it, was, it was a great all-around game for the Cleveland Browns. They deserved this one. They deserved that win there. And for the Ravens, it was shaky. I, hey, I will say, this is not the Ravens that you're used to seeing. We've seen a lot of drop passes. Uh, and specifically, it was Bateman who dropped two of them. One of them was, would have really, really changed the momentum of the game if he would have caught it. It was like a 60, 70-yard bomb that just literally smacked them straight in the helmet. It was sad to watch. But, I mean, they faced a difficult pass rush in – Above all, when they needed these big plays on defense and on offense, they weren't able to make them. And this led to the Browns getting the win. So happy for the Browns, man. Shout out to them for, you know, sticking with it and getting the dub here. I will say I still dislike how they did Jameis Winston or uh, 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 the other quarterback, Deshaun Watson. Still dislike how they did Deshaun Watson. But happy they got a win, man. This is definitely deserved for them. Ended up beating the Ravens 29-24. And even though they're 2-6, and six, you're kind of like at the half of the season. It's 
I, I give them a little bit of credit, man. I, you know, I'm, I'm not going to chop them off just yet. Write them off. I'm not going to do it just yet, but they're, they're right on the edge. They're on the line. When they say draw in between the lines or draw in the lines, they are right on the line, damn it. So if they win next week, then we really, we really got to have a conversation. It would be a great conversation to have if the Cleveland Browns were able to win next week and – it's not an easy conference or easy division that they're in. So, I mean, whatever. But this was just a big win. They played the Chargers and then the Saints after that, which is very doable. They can definitely make something happen against the Chargers, Saints. Um, it's going to be a toss-up. But, hey, the Browns come out with that same intensity, same momentum. They got another home game here. As long as they can keep winning at home, it'll at least give the fans something to be happy about when they got to go to work the next morning or something. 